Good evening, my dear friends from a very windy, windy Cumbria. But thank God, no structural damage here, but there has been elsewhere on the local farm. So we're very blessed indeed. And thank you all for your prayers and your kindness. But we can't complain because Ireland's had it really, really bad. So we remember our brothers and sisters in prayer this evening. So let us be still and give thanks to God that we are all gathered here in love. And it's good to see our dear sisters Linda, Sue and Sandra with us all here on our live stream channel. And for those not logged in there, welcome. And on our Facebook page, first time we've been able to go live on Facebook in two days now, we've got our dear friend John from Belfast. I pray you're okay, John. And Brother Cadge, who's had a sunny day in Finland. Lucky you, dear brother. <clears throat> anyway, we're here. And if you have a candle, why not let's light our candles? for peace, for unity, and for safety for all God's children. And welcome dear Matthew, who's joined us as well. <clears throat> so we light this light in the presence of the God who has many names and none, but who is and will always be a God of love, a God of peace, a God of gentleness and kindness, a God of forgiveness and a God who accepts us, you and me, as we are in our vulnerability and that uses our vulnerability as God's availability for our life. So let us be still and just give thanks for all that God brings to us, for all the blessings, the joys, as well as the heartache and the sorrow. Amen. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now we ring our little bells, our Tibetan bells for peace. My dear friends, as we gather around this table of love, it is such a joy to welcome you as God's prayer partners for peace, especially in these times where so many are so deeply unhappy, angry, unforgiving, resentful, and it's wonderful to know that there are a few of us who can come and who can break bread together in love, in God's name. <clears throat> so we begin with our prologue of our amazing brother Essenes from Mount Sinai. We enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother, God, the earthly mother and all our great masters <clears throat> and reverence to the holy, pure, and saving teaching, and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Tuesday evening we commune with the angel of power, saying, angel of power, descend upon my acting body and direct all my acts. As you contemplate the stars, the circulation, and the cosmic ocean of life, you begin to experience the cosmic vital forces from the stars being absorbed by the nervous system of the acting body. I'm going to share with you now, <clears throat> which I did last evening, a beautiful protection prayer and it's a prayer of protection for all of us who experience attack from negative energy or from the dark side. In the name of all that is, 
I draw a bloodline by faith, knowing that there is power, the power of Christ's love, of God's love. And I use this line of protection around myself, my health, my family, my partner, my family and life's work, my friends, grandchildren, and those whom I love, and around the brothers and sisters and friends of the Teo community of St. Francis. We draw a bloodline by faith, knowing that there is power, wondrous power in the blood of the cosmic Christ Jesus, and neither Satan nor any of his dark energies or entities can ever cross such a bloodline of faith. Amen. And again, I'm going to repeat the beautiful prayer, the prayer that we used to say as young novices in Cove County Cork and in Warren Point County Down when we were young novices and, and young monks. And it's the prayer to the cosmic Christ, our healer. In the comfort of your love, I pour out to you, my brother Jesus, the memories that haunt me, the anxieties that perplex me, the fears that stifle me, the sickness that prevails upon me, and the frustration of all the pain that weaves about within me. Lord, help me to see your peace in my turmoil, your compassion in my sorrow, your forgiveness in my weakness, and your love in my need. Touch me, O Christ, with your healing power and with your strength, so that I may return to you a child of God who is whole, perfect, and complete. Amen. And now for our little prayer book from Iona, we come for our opening prayer. As I utter these prayers from my mouth, O God, in my soul may I feel your presence, the knee that is stiff, O healer, make pliant, the heart that is hard, make warm beneath your wing, the wound that is giving me pain, O best of healers, make whole, and may my hopes and my fears find a lasting place with you. So now we come to our hymn from the beautiful Unitarian hymn book, Sing Your Faith. And our hymn this evening, bear with me, is 174, Though I May Speak With Bravest Fire. Though I may speak with bravest fire and have the gift to all inspire and have not love, my words are vain, a sounding brass and hopeless gain. Though I may give all I possess and striving so my love profess, but do but not be given by love within, the prophet soon turns strangely thin. Come spirit, Come our hearts control, our spirits long to be made whole. Let inward love guide every deed. By this we worship and are freed. And that's by Hal H. Hobson, born in 1933. And it is a beautiful hymn, though I may speak with bravest fire. But really what he's saying is, if I have the tongues of angels and of men, but have no love in my heart, then everything is like a sounding cymbal. So we come now to Psalms now, this beautiful modern version of the Old Testament Psalms, and they bring them into a modern day language that we can understand. So I'm going to open it and I get Psalm 63. That's on page 101. Like a thirsty child reaching for a drink, I grasp for you, O God, 
and I have found you. I have sensed your holy presence in the worship service and in the hour of prayer. I have felt you to be near. I realize now that your love for me is far better than life itself. My heart is full of joy and contentment. My mouth is filled with praises for you. Even the night hours are no longer lonely as I contemplate your tender concern for me. The enemies of my soul still seek to betray me, but they shall not snatch me out of your hand. And now that I have found you, I shall be secure and happy forever. Isn't that a beautiful sound? Like a thirsty child reaching for a drink, I grasp for you, O oh God, and I have found you. Oh, I do love that. <clears throat> well, let us just be still now and let us come into the presence of this amazing God, a God who has many names and none, but still a God of love. And often out of tragedy, and we all experience tragedy in our journey with God or to God, but out of that tragedy, there's always a blessing. So let us just come to our heart as we invite the Holy One of Israel to send the Spirit of God upon us as we prepare for a short guided meditation where we will allow the Spirit of God speak to our hearts. <clears throat> Shema. As we relax now just for a few moments we kick off our shoes our sandals or our stillies and we just take a deep breath and we breathe in that breath of divine essence a love a love from the divine and as you place your feet on sacred earth be mindful of mother earth and her love for you and as we relax now in the presence of all that is, we focus on our first breath. And as we breathe in, we breathe in the very breath of God. So let's breathe in now and hold it and now release any weariness, tiredness, discomfort or pain to our beloved Father, Mother, God. And just continue with the rhythm of your own breathing and be still and relax. 
and we call on you, O Spirit of God, to guide each one of us here around your sacred table of love. We ask you to come into all our hearts and to allow us to hear your message from a heart of love. Let us be still. Let us be still as we listen for the voice of the Beloved. Relax and embrace this sacred peace. It is the peace of God. It is not the peace of the world, but the peace from the Son of Peace. Just be still. And here in the distance, your name being called from the woodland. Come, I am calling you by name. And just visualize a beautiful woodland and you're there by the entrance gate. And as you come to the gate, it's a jar half opened. It is a beautiful woodland. It is autumn, and the leaves of the trees come in all shades, shapes, and sizes. From light gold to dark gold, every color of gold you can think of. And the narrow path through this beautiful woodland is like confetti falling over you from Mother Nature's beautiful forest. And you can hear the voice of God calling you, come, my beloved, come. And as you meander through this beautiful woodland, there before you is a table an old oak tree that's been turned into a little table with two seats, two chairs. And as you notice on the table, there's a tablecloth made of the freshest leaves that have fallen from our sacred trees. And on this tablecloth of trees, there is a chalice a beautiful chalice of gold glimmering with the rays of Brother Sun. And next to it, there's a basket with two small loaves and each one with a name on it. And it's your name and it is the name of the beloved. And the voice in the woods is calling you to sit, to be still, and to just focus your attention on the beautiful chalice, a goblet, and the bread. And suddenly you hear an orchestra of angels coming to you and you can hear the most exquisite music and sound from their angelic voices and they are singing Hosanna to the son of David, Hosanna to the king of peace and it's overwhelming and they form a circle around you. And as you look at them, you can see them in all their beauty and each one playing a beautiful instrument, the harp, the violin, the pipes, the trumpets. And each is dressed in the most beautiful of colors, all pastel shades, 
of every color you can imagine. And they're looking at you smiling as they play their instrument for peace. And you feel totally relaxed in your mind, in your body and spirit. For you feel safe, you feel loved, and you feel protected. And suddenly you see the angels create an opening where a young man appears, all in white, carrying a little spring lamb. And as he sits beside you, the lamb is fast asleep, nestled in the arms of the Christ. And he passes you the little lamb and as you cradle this beautiful little creature of God, there's an affinity with the Lamb. There's something to its story that is yet to be explained. But it's sleeping in your arms. It feels safe and it feels loved. And then Jesus lifts the chalice the goblet and the plate of bread and he says to you in this goblet is my blood which I shed for you and in this bread is my body that I have given out of love for you And he's inviting you to just focus on the chalice and the bread. And as you place the lamb back into the master, Jesus' arms, Jesus guides you to take a piece of bread. But you know the moment you take that bread, that it will be transformed by his love into something deeply spiritual. And the moment you begin to eat and swallow that piece of bread, you become transformed by that inner knowing that God is truly within you. And as you hold the chalice, the angels begin to sing the great Hosanna. Hosanna to the King of David. Hosanna to the Prince of Peace. And as you take a sip, you suddenly realize that you have taken within your being the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Christ. And the Spirit of Christ is now flowing through every part of you, transforming your mind, your body and spirit into a sense of divine oneness. Sense that healing energy flow through every part of you. And it's bringing to the surface painful memories that need now to be healed. It's bringing suffering. It's bringing all those situations that you may have found yourself in that caused you great disquiet. And Jesus is asking you to place them into the chalice of his love painful memories from childhood or from a relationship that was too traumatizing for you, bereavements, those you love who are hurting and struggling, to bring into this chalice of love the whole family of God and on top 
place the remaining bread so that all becomes one in the name of God and that all those requests and intentions are being absorbed by the love of God. Be still. And as you look at the chalice and the plate of bread, they disappear. An angel has come and taken them away. And as Christ looks at you now, he says you are free. So be free. For whatever hurts you or ails you or troubles you, you know that the moment you bless it, the moment you release it into our love and care and leave it with us, so shall it be. So bless every situation in your releasing to God and leave it in the chalice of God's love and just give thanks. So now sense that healing touch and that peace of God flow through every part of you. To this into the presence of God we bring each and every one of you especially those of you who are hurting or who have requested prayer for friends and loved ones and here sister Sue is asking us to remember her dear friend Kath who's not doing too well with her course of chemotherapy for cancer so we must send Kathy our love and hold her in prayer. For dear Linda, for Sister Linda in Connecticut who's with us here, we remember her daughter in spirit and we remember her dear friend Denise who died recently and for Karen. And we send love blessings to Sister, excuse me, Linda. For our dear sister Sandy, who's asking for prayers for Patty, for God is with her. And we pray for Michael. But we also pray for sister Sandra's husband, tragically killed some time ago. And we pray for her wonderful family who supports Sandy in, with her own disability. We pray this evening for all the brothers and sisters of our community and especially those who are hurting. For Pam, for Ron, for John who's full of a cold and for many others who are being tested by the dark side. We remember John and Brother Kaj and his beautiful wife Paula and her ministry with children with special needs in Finland for Matthew, for dear sister Mary and her husband Mike, who needs sister Mary's support 24-7. For Hiromi, Angel, Medume, we welcome you. For Joyce, and for Dismaser, welcome dear friends to this table of love where only God is present because the God we love is the God of love. And in our book, Prayers for Peace from All Faiths, we read, Easing the Burdens of Others. In the Old Testament Psalm 81, we read in verse 6, I removed the burden from their shoulders, and from our Buddhist family, 
Teach me, Lord, that life is one in all, so that I may not hurt one of my hands with the other. And from the Christian tradition we read, we pray for peoples and nations encumbered by debt. We pray for places suffering from poverty of medical resources and facilities. We pray for families and communities torn apart by war. And we pray for refugees and homeless people. And we pray for people injured and disabled by violence. O oh Lord, we pray for those who are denied fundamental human rights, for those who are humiliated and oppressed, especially those who are tortured. Our thoughts rest a few moments with them, and we pray that thy love and compassion may sustain them always. And with our Sikh brothers and sisters in peace while up and standing, in peace even when seated, this realization makes me fearless. Our master, the Lord, is our protector. He knows all that is in our hearts. I sleep without anxiety and wake up without anxiety. So now we pray for all our religious leaders, our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for His Holiness the Dalai Lama, for Thich Nhat Hanh, and for Queen Elizabeth, our reigning monarch and queen and head of the Anglican Church here and worldwide. We pray for all the men and women of all faith traditions who've dedicated their lives to the one supreme loving God of many names for peace, for unity. We pray for all gathered here and all who have no one to pray for them, the homeless, those on death row, and those struggling with mental health illness. We pray for a more compassionate society where we will turn away from greed and selfishness and share what we have because all that we have has been given to us by God on loan. So really we own nothing. We might own it on paper, but when we die, we take nothing with us, but our memories, whether they're good, bad or indifferent. So let us tonight, today, this morning, just give thanks to the loving God for our abundance, for our freedom. We remember especially in Somalia, where so many have been killed and injured through that awful terrorist attack on Sunday. And this is their second day of mourning, and we join them in a spirit of love. So now, let us come from this beautiful, forest having been repleted in mind body and spirit by that inner strength of christ we come back to where we are in our own sacred space and we give thanks we give thanks to god for the gift of faith for the gift of a loving trust that all will be well. Amen. So let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give to each one of us here at this hour our daily bread. Forgive us our misdemeanors our selfishness and stubbornness of heart. Lead us not astray, O Lord, but protect us from acts of cruelty to one another and to the animal kingdom and to this sacred earth. Protect us from those negative forces of evil that seek to alienate us from your heart of love. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. So be it. And our closing prayer 
from the Little Book of Celtic Prayers from Iona, we read together, <clears throat> Christ stands before me and peace is in his mind. Sleep, O oh sleep, in the calm of all calm. Sleep, O oh sleep, in the love of all loves. Sleep I this night in the God of all life. And as I blow out this lamp, I give thanks to God for you being here this evening with me at this hour in prayer together. And as I blow out this simple flame, I thank the Lord Christ, our healer, in the presence of all the great spiritual teachers of all faiths, for touching your heart and filling you with the peace of God. Amen. So go in peace to love and to serve our God. Namaste, shalom, inshallah, paxet bonum, om shanti, solo di carita, salam alaikum, and may the peace of all peace become your peace. Amen. Amen.